Hey there, so this tutorial is part of a 9 video series where I'll show you how to produce an Afrobeat song starting from how to make the beats, how to set up a session for recording, recording lead vocals, backup vocals, mixing and even mastering the entire song for this project. So don't forget to check the description for links to other parts of this series to watch the rest of it. Hey there, you made it to the last part of this series. I'm going to show you how to master Afrobeat song, alright? That is how to get it ready for streaming platforms and I assume your mix is already sounding really good at this point because it has to sound good before you consider mastering. Let's get started. Alright, so for mastering, I do use Isotope Ozone, right? So I already have it loaded up on my mixed um, song right here. So we're going to use the master assistant, but we even though using that, we're going to make some tweaks and add some other things outside from um, Isotope Ozone to make it sound even better. All right, so we're going to click Master Assistant and I click, look for the loudest part. All right, the part that has the most bass, has the most elements playing, and then, um, which is the hook. And then we're going to allow it listing. All right, we're going to click High just for now. And then we're going to click More, make sure it's in Modern, then click Next. And then we're going to play it so it listens. All right, so now this is where the work starts. So for the EQ, I typically I start, I typically start with this preset richness and depth for the vocal, right? But then I'm going to come right here, flat, right? Then come right here, cut it about 30 heads to 40 heads, somewhere around there. Then this is way too much. Bring this down right here and then just drop this down a little bit. So we're also going to turn on dynamics and also I like using this preset more than crisp. I want it to sound really crispy like how most Afrobeat songs Afrobeat pop song sound these days, right? So let's listen and see with this default preset. It already sounds brighter, right? But we're going to click learn so it listens to the song and adjust um, adequately for the frequency bands or that is that is unique to the song. So we're going to click learn and then we're going to play. So this dynamic EQ is just fine, so I'm going to let that be. Now the um, maximizer, before I adjust the maximizer, I'm going to load up Ulin loudness meter at the bottom right here. So it's, it's going to listen and so I will know the loudness level. We want to hit about minus nine, right? Because most Afrobeat songs tend to be, get really loud. So I want to hit about minus nine um, LUFS, let's see. <laughs> So you can see now we're at minus nine LUFS, right? And I can, if I want to make it even louder, it's because that you cut out some more bass. If you want to get louder, you can cut out some, a little bit more bass, maybe about 45, up to 45 heads. But try to make sure that it doesn't lose the, the, the feel or the weight of it, then you can make it sound even louder. That's a cheat code, all right? But let's just take it up to, let's say 39 heads. So if you're still struggling with how to make really good music, whether you're trying to record, make beats, mix, master, or all of the above, all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one on one private lessons. And I'm going to teach you personally how to make much better music. Vazum is really interactive and it's result based, results guaranteed. So don't forget the link is in the description. Hit the link, fill out the form.
So let's get back to the tutorial, shall we? All right, so I know you're going to come to the maximize and make it louder, right? So we're going to use um, a tape um, saturation plugin. So we're going to look for virtual tape. Yes. So we're going to use this plugin to add a little bit more character and feel to the master. So let's listen. So you can see now it's i want it to stay within the minus nine it's almost getting into minus eight all right so i'm going to um open this up right here reduce the threshold all right then listen again So the virtual tape machine is adding a lot of bass, like a lot of low end to it, okay? All right, so this sounds good, right? So the master was really simple, but these techniques can really make your master stand out, all right? You don't have to go crazy by using a ton of plugins or just relying on the master assistance. You can make some tweaks to fine tune the quality of sound you want to hear in your master track, all right? So when I turn it off, let's hear the difference on mastered. Mastered. So you can see it's all clear. The bass elements is punchy. The vocals is crispy. It has the weight. It didn't lose any weight while mixing, while mastering or you can hear every single detail of the song in the mix. And this is what you should aspire when mixing your songs, all right? So this is the master track. Now I'm going to just export the wave uh, and the flag versions for the clients to upload to streaming platform. All right then. Hey there, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also hit the subscribe button down below so that you can keep up to date with latest tutorials on production, beat making, um, recording vocals, mixing, mastering in FL Studio. All right.